What's up guys, it's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm making this video because I know there's a lot of tutorials out there, but I'm making this personally for one person, it's dhoop17, you guys all seen him on my channel, we've done dual comms together, uh, you guys even went and checked out his channel, I know he's got a few subs off me, so that's awesome that you guys watch his stuff because I really like what dhoop's doing. And he's basically not very familiar with uh, using Vegas or Audacity. He still uses Windows Movie Maker, and he was looking up to upgrade his uh, software. So I was going to give him a little bit of a tutorial for this, and I figured while I was doing it, I'd make it public for you guys, because I know I do have a lot of uh, aspiring YouTubers that do subscribe to me. I talk to you guys a lot on Skype. So, you know, basically, this is for everybody that's just trying to look for a really basic, easy tutorial to find out how to do everything. Thing really really fast really really simple so we're gonna go ahead and open up audacity because right now I'm using fraps to record my voice so audacity is an open file and we're gonna go ahead we make sure we got our snowball microphone clicked on and we do so we're gonna go ahead and record and as you can see you can see my sound profile it's definitely picking up my voice so we're gonna go ahead and do a fake commentary on this so What's up, guys? It's Jay, more than after kill, and I'm just testing out my audacity for this tutorial. See you guys later. Alright, now you see at the end there how I left this nice bit of uh, white noise right here. This is what's basically going to be what's in the background of you. Uh, I know you guys listen to a lot of people on mic, and you can hear that there's like a little hissing noise in the background. That's called white noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. It's going to make your videos a lot better, a lot easier to watch, especially for people watch, uh, using headsets. So we're going to go here and click noise removal, and we're going to get our noise profile because we already selected our white noise. So... Normally, you would want to select the whole track, but instead of doing that, you can just double click in Audacity, it selects the whole track. Now we go back to Effect, and we go to Noise Removal, and we go to Preview. So, so we're, we're going to go, go ahead, ahead and, and record, record, and as you can see, and as you can see right there, that sounds good. There's no hissing in the background, no noise, so we're going to go ahead and go OK to remove the white noise in the background. So while that's doing that, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to export this out as our sample commentary and it's going to save out in an mp3 file it's going to make sure it's very uh you know cross-platform friendly that way if you do have to render it on a different computer it goes basically for every goddamn computer that's been out in the last like 15 years so now we're going to go ahead we're going to open up sony vegas right here and we're going to let that load and actually, I'm going to block that out right there so you do not get my license key. <laughs> That's just... And no, we're going to cancel this because I had an old project inside there. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this little button right here. It's going to be all media, and we're going to go find our videos. So basically, you know, I'm going to go... Everybody's going to have their videos in a different slot. I do keep mine in a really large file called videos. As you can see, I have a huge file full of videos. So we're just going to go ahead, and since DHoop does do uh, Modern Warfare 3 commentaries, I'm going to go ahead and open up just a quick Call of Duty video. So that's my video I imported right there. As you can see, it's building the audio peaks for it. Uh, that's basically getting the, uh, it looks like the shock wave across there with the audio profile. That way uh, it can actually give you a visual so you can see where your peaks are, where they're not, and you can see where, like, if any audio cuts out, you can visually see it without having to listen to the whole video. It's a really good thing, and I don't know why it's taking this long. This might be a bigger file than I actually thought. Uh, we're going to find out now, but we're going to go ahead and import our watermark in the same way. You go up here and you click the little button right next to the Thunderbolt, and I keep mine in the TGN file. And we're going to go ahead and pick my watermark. Where is, there's my watermark right here. And we go ahead. Your watermark you're going to want to add first. So it's your top layer as you can see right there. It shows up. And I'm going to go ahead and toss this in right here. And yeah, that was an absolutely pretty big, bigger file than I thought. It was 16 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to just clip this down. And if you want to see, you see the black bars, you don't want that. So what we're going to do is you right click it and then you go to switches. 
Switches will have maintain aspect ratio. You unclick that, that'll get rid of the nasty, ugly black bars around there. And then we're gonna go ahead to properties and reduce interlace flicker. And we're gonna disable the resample. And it's gonna get rid of a lot of that motion blur that you see in a lot of people's videos. And it's gonna make it look really smooth. Now what happens here is that I have too much footage for the clip that I'm using. I'm only using like a 30 second sound bite for you guys. So to split your clip, you're gonna to wanna to just push S on your keyboard. Boom, split your clip. You wanna get rid of the rest of it. You cut, bam. There you go. So now I have my clip and we're going to go ahead and import my intro. My intro is down here. Actually, I have like eight different versions of it when I was testing it out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move this. I'm going to use the scroll wheel now and I can actually zoom in on it to get it to make it easier to pick up and grab. So we're going to put our intro on the same timeline as this. Then we're going to start the watermark after the intro because, you know, usually the intros already have some type of watermark for what you're doing. And as you can see right here, the watermark does not fit. What you're going to want to do is right click on that, go to switches again, and maintain aspect ratio. Basically everything that you do to the file with the properties and aspect ratio, you're going to want to do to every layer at the very least. That way all the footage looks consistent, everything looks good, and we're going to go ahead. And if you do need to separate your audio from this, all you got to do is push U and it splits it up and now I can move the audio separate from the video. It's a really good tool, especially if you're trying to sync up music or you're trying to sync up uh, gun sounds or something. So that's just something you wanna think about maybe in the future. But now we need a commentary right here. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna find our desktop and the sample that I just made right here, sample com, boom. Now it goes in there. We move this in here and we have our sample commentary and we're going to go ahead and check to see how that looks. So we're going to go ahead and record and as you can see, you can see my sound profile, it's definitely picking up my voice. So, and then as you can see, the game sounds are overpowered my commentary. So what you're going to want to do is if you hover right here at the top of the audio clip, you'll see gain. You could move this up and down to make the sounds a little bit higher. I like to drop it down a little bit right there. It usually gives you about the right sound for it. So we're going to go ahead and record. And as you can see, you can see my sound profile. It's definitely picking up my... All right, that looks good. Our uh, sound is sounding good. Our gun sounds are low. That's awesome. But now what happens if you have a boring part in the video and you want to speed it up and you want to get past that? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to split the area of time that you want to speed it up at. So say I want it from here. And we're going to drag the timeline along here and find an area. So we're going to split right there. And then we're going to go ahead and split right here. Remember, I'm pushing the S key to split it. So since I already have my audio and video uh, separated, I'm going to go ahead and you push control on your keyboard and you get this little fuzzy line on the edge there and then you move it in and every bit you move it in, that's how much it's going to speed up. So now we're going to take a look at that and see how it goes. All right, that's successfully speeded up. Now, what happens if you have like, a game wouldn't kill and you want to slow it down? You want to get that really good slow motion effect. You're going to want to just push control and you drag it out. Once you drag it out, that's basically, you know, lengthening the time that it takes for the cl clips to happen. So we're going to watch and it's going to be a little bit slower. I think we can get slower than that, actually. Let's see how slow we can get just to show off the actual effect. All right, see, that's your typical slow motion effect. Now you're going to look at this, and you know that COD has a little bit of a drab look to it. It doesn't have a lot of good uh, colors to it. And a lot of games happen like this. They look a little bit washed out, depending on what your settings are on the PVR. So like I said, COD has a really drab look to it. It doesn't really look that great to it. And a lot of people like to use color correction settings, and I don't really like to. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on it. And we're going to go to video event effects. We're going to load up that plugin really quick. And we're going to go to Sony brightness contrast right there. Boop. 
it's going to open up a plugin you see right here. Now what I like to do is I like to drop the brightness down just a little bit, maybe like 0.4 or 0.5. And you up the contrast just a little bit. And now you can see from here, well, from there to there, it just looks a little bit better. This looks a little bit faded, a little bit washed out, and now it has actually a little bit of uh, depth to it. So that's basically what we're going to do, and we're going to go ahead and trim these ends up, like I said, by pushing S. You push S, right-click, cut. We're going to X this out because we've already done our effects there for the brightness, and basically we have our track. If you want to go ahead and render it, you go ahead, click Render As, and you can select your quality settings. I have mine set on 1080p just because, you know, I'm a boss like that. But I hope this helped anybody. Uh, if you like this video, you know, rate, comment, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And go ahead and check out DHoop17 because this video is for him. So thanks, guys, for watching. And I'm going to see you later.